Okay, in this video, I'm going to cover the topic of editing the grid and also the concept of snap grid. So by default, Tinkercad works in millimeters, and that's really the, the unit of measurement that I prefer to work in. Uh, 3D printers are really designed around the concept of millimeters. Um, in fact, earlier when we looked at these measurements, for example, a 20 by 20 cube, these are 20 millimeters. But if you're maybe more comfortable in terms of reference for size in working in inches, if you go down to the bottom right hand corner, you'll see this edit grid button. And if you click on it, you'll see that the units currently in use are millimeters, but you could choose to change these to inches. So if I update my grid with that, you'll notice now that the, my measurements are no longer in millimeters, but they're in inches. And so if I wanted to make it one inch by one inch, I can come and say one and come in here and say one. And now it's a one inch, one inch cube. Okay. Um, I personally though prefer to work in millimeters just because I'm used to it with, with 3D printing. The other thing I wanted to show you was under the uh, edit grid, uh, there is an option to change the actual size of the, the work plane. And the reason uh, you can do that as one, you could set it to the ex exact size of your own 3D printer, but you could also do it just to uh, allow yourself some more space when you get multiple objects on the work plane if, in order to see everything. Uh, you may have to increase the, the grid size just to be able to accommodate all the pieces that you have uh, on, on your work plane. And then finally, I wanted to show you the feature here called Snap Grid. And by default, snap grid is set to one millimeter at a time. And what that means is when you're moving the object around, it's moving one millimeter at a time. So, uh, you know, you can pick up and drag an object, but you could also use your arrow keys on your keyboard like this. Here's left and right, forward and backward. And when you're doing this, it's going to move them at the snap grid size that you've selected. So if I'm going to move it one millimeter at a time, I can do that, but if I wanted finer movements, I could actually change it to a quarter millimeter or even one a tenth of a millimeter. And by doing that, it moves very small increments at a time. And I often do this when I'm doing some precision, precision work, uh, when I need to line up objects right next to each other or very close to each other or uh, specific um, specific distances from each other. I will change my snap grid. Uh, you can also choose to turn it off entirely. Uh, I find that it helps to have some setting and I'm generally, I, I find my comfort level depending on the, the object that I'm working with.